we're doing 4.9.12 now. We're going to again use Newton's method. And here is our equation. And we're trying to find a solution. Now, first thing we have to do is solve for 0. So what I did, well, I rewrote the equation first. Then I subtracted uh, this to the left side. So we have this equation here equals 0. And our function, f of x, is the left side of this equation. Uh, be careful, I don't write a zero in front of my decimal place. Uh, a lot of people do. Yeah, feel free to do that. It's totally uh, reasonable. I just don't do it. Okay. Once we have our uh, f of x function, we're of course going to take derivative because it's a calculus class and that's what we do. This requires a chain rule. So what is the outermost part? If I add an extra parenthesis in here, the outermost part is never inside the parenthesis. It's always the part outside the parentheses. So in this case, it's e to the function. So derivative of e to any function is e to the function multiplied by the derivative of that inner function. Now, I just wrote it as 0.3x squared prime, which I will take the derivative next. Uh, negative 2 derivative is 0, and x derivative is 1. All right, so what's the derivative of this? Well, x squared derivative is 2x times 0.3 is 0.6x to the first power. Never write a first power because whenever I see it in a calculus class, I think derivative. So you should never ever write a first power if you're doing any calculus. Okay, we are ready to, uh, what I didn't do is plug in the uh, x1 values into f and f prime. However, we have our original f function right here. So here's our f of x right here, and here's our f prime. So let's go ahead, we'll plug in uh, x1. So our x1 in this problem is the number 2, and that is e to the 0.3 times 2 squared uh, minus 2 plus x, which is 2. And all I did was just plug in right here. Wherever I saw x, I put in a 2. And now f prime of x1 is f prime of 2. And now we're using this right here. And uh, wherever I see x, x appears twice. I'm going to uh, put in the value 2 right there. So this is, again, e to the point 3 times 2 squared. You can add extra parentheses. Uh, times 0.6 times 2 plus 1. And that f x1 value goes there. f prime x1 goes there. Uh, and of course, x1 is just the number 2. And that'll give you your x2 value. So what about x3? Uh, well, good news is you don't need any more derivatives to get x3. But what you do need is the relation between x3 and x2. So all I'm doing is I'm copying what I see above here, except all these subscripts are going to increase by 1. Each x approximation is related to the previous approximation. So it's always the previous approximation minus f of that approximation divided by f prime of that approximation. And again, if I needed the next one after this, which I think all these homework questions only ask for 2 at the most, but if you need the the next approximation, you just increase all the subscripts by one again, and you can keep going until uh, you're accurate enough to do whatever task you're trying to accomplish.